Let us talk about five easy steps to determine your financial status so you can break free of your job sooner. The task must be completed, even if it isn't pleasant or orderly. Having a comprehensive grasp of your existing and future financial obligations will play a major role in your strategic plan for business success, regardless of whether you are already well on your way to establishing a full-time home-based business or are just kicking the concept around right now. Typically, owners of home-based business don't answer yet. I have decided to leave my current position and launch a home-based business. In order to accomplish a goal, there is typically a period of time for reflection, investigation, decision-making, plan creation, and step-by-step -step execution of the plan. Before an employee is in a position to leave her work and work living as full-time entrepreneur, the process can take anything from a few months to a few years. Being financially responsible is essential for the success of a home-based business as well as for building the financial security needed to make the switch from working an employee job to working yourself full-time. Following the five fundamental stages listed below will help you understand your potential financial situation, which should not take more than an hour of your time. Number one, determine how much money you presently have in savings accounts, investments, registered retirement plans, GICs, real estate, etc. Would you receive any sort of compensation if you were to quit your job today, such as sick plan credits, pension plan contributions, unused vacation days, anniversary pay, etc. Number two, calculate your monthly income, including any income from a job, alimony payments, dividends, rental income, current home-based business, etc. Number three, compile a monthly budget for your home spending. To get you going, here are a few examples. Mortgage or rent, property tax, house and mortgage insurance, utilities like heat, water, hydro, phone, cable, satellite, internet, yard maintenance, snow removal, Groceries and household supplies, vehicle fuel, insurance and maintenance costs, medical, child care, personal care like hair, nails, clothing, entertainment like movies, sports, books, plays, club memberships, publications, etc. Number four. List your monthly business expenses, for example, internet, phone, separate business line, autoresponder, shopping cart, long distance, bank fees, office supplies, tools, web hosting, marketing, advertising, part-time help, coaching services, shipping, postage, etc. Number five, identify your outstanding liabilities, such as credit card balances, personal loans, lines of credit, etc. After subtracting your personal and business expenses from your annual calculations of earnings and revenue, when the year is through, how much will you still have? Can you set away some of this to increase your emergency fund? How long would you be able to exist on your other income streams, savings and assets, taking into consideration your monthly expenses? If your current business revenue was not sufficient to pay your business or personal needs and you were to quit your job today, have you thought of every unforeseen expense 
that might occur in the ensuing year or two. Are the final two cylinders in your automobile still firing? Is the life expectancy of your furnace almost up? Starting to growl at you now, your vacuum. Do you anticipate tumultuous times in the future or is your partner's work secure? By no means does this activity aim to frighten or demoralize. As you develop your home-based business, you must address the issues of financial stability in order to keep your feet firmly on the ground and your objectives reasonable. You may make wise financial decisions as you plan your future by being aware of where you are and what may potentially lie ahead. After completing these five steps, you may come to the realization that achieving your goal of quitting your job might take a year longer than you had anticipated. Or you may discover that you need to enlist the help of a partner or investor in order to move forward more quickly. Or you may discover how to use your time, money and effort more effectively in order to advance the process. Maybe it would be best to seek out expert advice on debt relief and money management. Know of the outcomes, never allow them to derail your positive attitude. Making wise, sensible decisions will be easier for you if you are fully aware of your financial situation. This will allow you to build the future you envision. Including a financial advisor and an accountant on your success team will boost your chances of success in your home-based business. Thanks for listening, folks. Subscribe to our channel, My Learning Center, on YouTube. Join our Facebook group, My Learning Center, and visit our website for quality ebooks, audio courses, HD video courses, and many more.